Okay. Well, we have made our way into the kitchen and here to make us a flaky tart bursting with the fresh flavors of spring. Welcome back to co-host of America's Test Kitchen, Bridget Lancaster. Welcome, Bridget. So nice to, to have you. you in the kitchen again. Nice to be in the kitchen oh, with you today. I'm very great. excited. Uh, who, who else is excited? Debbie, Kim, and Maria. They were looking at this. <laughs> they heard that I was in the kitchen. They wanted to come. No, yeah, they knew that you were here. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about your new book really quickly. Okay. Vegetables Illustrated. I love the title. What's and I'm going to love what's in it because I'm always looking for a way to get more veggies in my diet. Well, we've got you covered. That's I what mean, I'm saying. There's more than 70 vegetables, everything from asparagus to zucchini. We've got 700 plus recipes. Wow. Mm. So, yeah, lots of tips and techniques, That's everything great. to really bring out the best of what we should be eating more of. I mean, vegetables, 70 right? vegetables. I gotta, I've got to get out more or something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Exactly. All right, so this, um, obviously, this uh, fennel, olive, goat cheese tart, it comes from your it's fennel awesome chapter. Right. And fennel is something I don't think is, I mean, is, am I wrong in saying, it's not really used that much. And that's a shame. I mean, mm. fennel tastes great. It's got that licorice flavor. And when you cook it, it kind of caramelizes and it softens a little bit. It's beautiful. It brings out the sweetness. Mm. And we're going to highlight that. We're going to make a little tart here. Beautiful. It's almost like a little jewelry box for vegetables. Oh. A little jewelry box right, for right, vegetables. Right, right. How about that? Okay, we're going to start with some puff pastry. Right, straight from the frozen food aisle of the supermarket. So you're not going to make me make nice. this, right? No, 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 no. Now no. you can go and you buy the puff pastry. What do we do first with yeah, it? Yeah, you want to let it thaw in the fridge okay. or on room temp for about 30 minutes and then put it in the oven. Bake it for about 15 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. That's all you have to do to it. Just on okay. its own, on everybody. Its own. So, it, I mean, that's not as common, right? I usually see you kind of putting the ingredient, not you, but right. one putting ingredients in and baking it like that. Yeah. But first, you're just going to do the puff pastry on itself. Mm. On its own. On its own. So easy. And all you do to make this little border is you cut a uh, border around the edge. Yeah. And this is because we want that puff pastry to contain the fennel, the olive, the olives, and all the other goodies in there. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to fall over the place. And then you just push right down in the center. You said it was like a jewelry box. Now I'm getting the See? idea. See, it's right a little jewelry here. case right there. That is pretty cool. That's okay. it for the crust. So then we've got the crust all ready to go. Right. The tart part. And now we'll go with the filling. You've already got started on Move that. On we've got some here. fennel in here, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of white oh, wine. Gorgeous. Okay. Right? How long do you saute that? Just about uh, 20 minutes. And what we're doing is we're driving off the excess liquid because there's a lot of water in fennel. Oh. So it can make the crust really soggy, and you okay. do not want that. But you also okay. said the flavor of fennel changes slightly, or, or the intensity of it as you saute. It softens it a little softens, bit. It softens. It gets sweeter, more developed, kind of caramely. Okay. Can I ask you That's a gorgeous. question about fennel when you yeah. cut it? You cut the bottom off, and you just take the one kind of outside off, or do you just cut the whole thing? You can cut the whole thing. Actually, okay. you want to take off the very outside because sometimes it's dirty it's and it's fibrous. got some spots. Okay. So you want to make sure it's nice and crisp. Okay. Good question. Yeah. Way to go. I now, now we're gonna add, <laughs> we're gonna add some olives, some lemon, some salt and pepper, but not just any olives. Right. These are salt. They're actually salt cured olives, but they say that they're oil cured. Mm. So that's a misnomer. If you see oil cured olives, they're actually cured in salt. Oh, they're cured in salt, yeah, but then the oil is added oil. back, they right? They plump, and that's the way that they're mm. kept, so they're preserved. And they add so much flavor; they're almost smoky. Yeah. I'll let you do the. All right. uh, I'll let you do the, the fine handiwork here. A little, a little bit, of bit of pepper. Always good to season salt. from high, and then that way you can control it oh, a little and bit also better. Looks so cool on TV. Yeah. So yeah. Do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we'll leave that for a second, right? Right. Yep. And now we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna. So we got two different mixtures going for for our filling. We've got the fennel mixture and then we've got the uh, the goat cheese mixture as well. This is our base. This Creamy, is our base. rich. This is softened goat cheese. Yes. It's nice and fresh. You don't want to use the pre-crumbled stuff because it's just too chalky and dry. Well, Bridget, Yummy. I understand a lot of research went into getting this goat cheese perfectly right. Yeah, it's one of the keys we found was adding some olive oil and you're adding some basil there. Some basil, oh. the whole basil. Right, right. Okay, yeah, good. all of that goes Great. in. Very good. And the little bit of olive oil, it's two tablespoons and that's what makes this so silky and rich. I'm sorry, but olive oil makes everything better. Right. I mean, it's so true. And little, creamy. A little bit of lemon zest, too. Eyes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> One more time, Kim. And, you... and it's good for under your and eyes. And Kim wants to point out that olive oil is great for this mixture, but it's also great around your eyes. Yeah, you, you could add this whole thing right <laughs> under your face. Right I mean yeah. it. Down. So a little bit of lemon zest and some more pepper, if you don't great. mind. All of this? That's great, yeah. Okay, very good. So this, then... How easy is that came together? I promised you that I would do all the stirring, so I'm, I've, I've failed you already. Yeah, well, I'm going to put you to work here. If you wouldn't mind spreading that okay, out there a little you bit, go. you got a little offset spatula. Very good. So this yes. would go be split amongst two shells. Okay. And what's great about it is the goat cheese, the fennel mixture, even the puff pastry can all be made ahead of time. So if you've got people coming oh. over, it really just comes together quickly. Oh, I was going to go for a bite. Okay. <laughs> uh, not quite. All right. Goat cheese mixture goes in, and then we've got the fennel and the olives that comes on the top. Yeah. Okay. How about that? I know you guys test recipes 
like 10,000 times. How many times? <laughs> yeah. Uh, at least 20. I would say really? probably 30 for this. Wow. Yeah. And was it always really cool. going back there to making go. the goat cheese better? Yes. Is that why you kept testing it? Exactly. Oh, well, you know, you do come across a recipe and it's just not done, right? That, that's basically because you just want to keep eating it. Mm -hmm. So we keep sending it back into the test Man. kitchen. So this goes into the oven. Okay. Just Here we like go. that. Put that in. And this is what it looks like when it comes out, about five, seven minutes max. Oh. Five, seven minutes, what That's temperature? Uh, 425. Mm. 425, five to seven minutes, uh -huh. and then we are good to start <laughs> cutting and eating, That's right? right. Should we take it off here first? Garnish it with a little bit of basil. Here we go. Oops. Oh. And garnish oh. it with a little bit of basil. You can see how tender that puff pastry oh is, God. if you yeah, wouldn't go mind. Ahead. You got it, you got it. There you go. All yeah, right. so how about this, everybody? I don't know. You have to taste this. I, I did not what? like this uh, at all. Mm. At all. Mm. I got go. more. I like it more, I think. That's right. It was delicious. Yeah, give me your plate. I'll give you. Oh, oh can I just bite right into it? I don't need like a fork and knife. Can I just kind of yeah, do it? Yeah. yeah, it's easier. How good is there that? There you go. Oh, I love you, Bridget. Mm. Yeah, it's like elegant pizza, yeah. but with fennel and yeah. olives. Yeah. It's the best oh, thing ever. I love my job. You know what I mean? This is so good. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious.